Um, but yeah, I'm finishing off that hugely misunderstood exam. <laughs> Some of the questions and the answers are messed up. But anyways, um, we're not here to argue about the direct exam. But uh, the point is that, oh, congratulations, I mean, having that feat to accomplish and then writing, coming here all dressed up nicely. If, you saw, if I saw you guys a few hours ago, we probably look a mess like I can. It's great. Nice to see you all nice and smiley and you know, clean and polished. Um, so basically, we're just going to do this ceremony really quick, uh, just like it was the last semester's. And um, do you have anything to say? Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, I just want to say, like, we all remember Med 1 when we walked into Embryo for that first day of class, how cold it was, and that was the beginning of an era, and now we've completed that chapter of our lives, and um, it feels great to be back in the Med 3 classroom, I guess, um, for this ceremony, but, um, yeah, I mean, as Eamon said, it's been a long journey. This exam that we took today, even though we had it early in the morning, even with all the confusion that was going on and everything like that, everyone cleaned up well, everyone's here, we're all excited that we're done. Um, so congratulations again, and we're just going to get this um, ceremony started. So I want to <coughs> introduce um, Dr. Agni Hotri to um, give us our graduation speech. So give her a round of applause. She was 
an unemployed single parent one step away from homelessness. And she spoke at, um, at, at, a, at the 2008 uh, commencement speech at Harvard, and what she said was, uh, the knowledge that you have emerged wiser and stronger from setbacks means that you are after, ever after, secure in your ability to survive. You will never truly know yourself or the strength of the relationships until both have been tested by adversity. Such knowledge is a true gift for all that is painfully won. And it has been worth more than any qualification I have ever learned. Now, I can see it in your smiles, so those are my three quotes. I can see it in your smiles that of course your heart, your heart of joy is you're celebrating your accomplishments. Um, now you began your medical training here full of excitement. The excitement of childhood dreams and adult ambitions realized. You made it to medical school. You, you triumphed when you fully appreciated the different talents in each one of you and you began to feel comfortable and proud of your unique gifts. As you look forward, I know you dream of the day that all your debts will be paid, <laughs> of many hours of sleep every night, and in a land where family and friends will be close, and even maybe a goat-free land. <laughs> now, as I, as I remember, as I remember myself um, standing where you are today, I also know that you fear <laughs> you fear that your ideals will be turned into cynicism, that you will be overworked and sleep deprived, that your patients' concerns about their illnesses will become wines to be written out as some access to diagnoses, that your hearts will turn into stone as you watch alcohol and drugs destroy lives over and over while all you can do is catch here and catch there. You hear that your anguish will fade and your empathy will run dry after repeated encounters with human beings molested and beaten in body, maimed in spirit and crippled in emotion. Now I know, just as I did, you fear that life's daily toils will dishearten your courage to fight for your patience to serve as agents for change in your communities and, and, and to let your ideals uh, guide, you, guide you. But dear graduating class, um, I just have one main key thing to say to you, um, that will, a key idea that will resonate through what I have to say in the next couple of um, sentences. As you undertake the journey ahead, you will travel through strange lands where the inhabitants will persuade you to dispose of your emotions and harden your hearts. Do not be fooled. Remember the classic words of Dr. Francis Well Peabody in his historic lecture to Howard Medical students in 1926. He said, the physician who attempts to take <coughs> care of the patient while he neglects this, which is the emotional factor, is as unscientific as the investigator who neglects to control all the conditions that affects his experiments. Please take care of yourself and take care of your hearts. Without your heart, you will not feel your patient's anguish and joy. Without your heart, you are the place them. Let your heart guide you. Consult with an awesome in the care of your patients and of yourself. On your journey, use your wisdom. Wisdom for knowing when to be unconventional, when to be conventional, and when to be both. Wisdom for knowing when to use common sense and when to toss it to the wind. Wisdom to know when to follow the yellow brick road and when to paint the red, blue, or green. Wisdom to change to a new path if it makes your heart sing. Wisdom to measure success in your own terms as you travel on. On behalf of all faculty and staff, mm. I wish you happiness and great success in all your future endeavors. You made us proud. Thank you. Now it's time for some awards. Uh, and I'm here to give out two awards.
Awards. And for the first time that I recall, the Dean of Basic Science Award goes not to one, not to two, but to three recipients. Wow. <laughs> Outstanding pre med professor. No, there's no drum rolls, I guess, here. Dr. Meta.
for Med 2, um, outstanding professor, goes to our keynote speaker, Dr. Agni Hoki. <laughs> Every blog exam, they used to hate my guts. <laughs> they used to hate me. They used to hate my shadow. They used to hate the very ground I used to walk on. And believe it or not, the same batch, they broke the neuroscience shelf record. Of course, that record has been broken subsequently. <laughs> so, coming from that batch, it means a great thing to me. Thank you. Guys. Standing Med 4 professor goes to Dr. Kacker. Just one thing to, I want to say is that be the way you are. <laughs> be the way you are. That's it. Mr. Gazel, every time like you go into Met 5, you come up to me, how's Met 4? <laughs> but the way when I answer the this time around when I met you guys were asking how was Met how's Met 4? Many of you know my answer. <laughs> I don't want to repeat it again, but I want to tell you this was the first batch that I'll really miss. <laughs> But that doesn't mean I'll not repeat the same thing around the next time also. <laughs> I'll do the same thing next time also. Put this together. I'm almost still standing. Professor. Goes to. Dr. Sarah. Butcher. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, some of the professors obviously weren't here to pick up their awards, but they will be aware of um, our choice in them. Um, but we'd like to call back Dr. Mankoff, I believe, to continue. <laughs> all right, now is the thing we've all been waiting for. It's time for you all to stand up and leave the room so we can talk about you. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. 